What's up, Rockstars? Today we're discussing the top five best deals on Kickstarter right now for board games. You should pay attention to this. Thank you to my channel sponsor Into the AM. As a company that believes hard work and a great product is a proper way to conduct business, I am delighted to have them as part of the channel. They have some of the coolest graphic t-shirts around and an absolute best fit and feel that has continually exceeded my expectations. With new shirts arriving all the time and other products like boxers, hats, and even a monthly shirt club, I wholeheartedly recommend them to you. Check out the link in my description of this video for an exclusive 10% off everything they sell. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. If you appreciate this video though, please leave a like on the video. That certainly helps. There's links to everything down below, including my Patreon. So go ahead and check out all of these cool games and offerings that are available. Starting out, number five, Stormlight Premium Miniatures. This is actually a huge deal. I mean, 2.2 million raised and still 21 days to go. It's just going to go up. That being said, they're running it pretty straight. They're not adding any kind of crazy add-ons or something like that. They're not surprising you with added, added costs. There's none of that play. It's just, here's our deal. Hopefully it's good, hopefully you like it, and obviously 11,000 people have said yes, it probably is. So, what am I specifically talking about here? Because they're offering quite a few things. I think what got this on here, and actually, I I feel like I should put it up, but because it's not the whole campaign, I'm, I'm just kind of talking to this right here. But really, I mean, all of this is good. Like, I don't think any of it's like a bad deal at all. These all look very high quality and the prices are fairly decent, especially for what you're getting. But this right, oh no, not this one. This right here, wild. $15 for a 75 millimeter painted miniature of an IP is like unheard of. Normally that's actually quite pricey. It's normal. you're talking like um, uh, stuff you'd often get in like a collector's edition of like a video game or a movie or something like that. Now a lot of times those get bigger and they have the bigger ones, right? They have like this, you know, humongous thing, 110 scale, 12 inch tall diorama piece for 350, which again is actually a great deal too. I've looked at some of those before. They're very pricey. There's a lot of actually good stuff here, but $15 for painted. Now we don't know the quality of the painting. I haven't heard any information around how many operations operations are like you know uh paint the eyes white is one operation paint the dot you know the black pupil is maybe another operation operation is i'm doing a thing on the miniature and adding a wash that's a that's an operation so the higher the operation typically the better the quality is but Honestly, at 75 millimeters, typically they can do a pretty good job. I'm assuming it's fairly good. If not, I, I, I'll say something, but 15 bucks for something like this, very, very good deal, I think. I think that's actually like amazing. So that's number five. Let's go ahead and let's go quick. Number four, Atlas Lost, Rise of the New Sovereigns. This is a good deal for a variety of reasons. First of all, you're helping an indie out and that's super awesome. So it's a very small team doing this. They've raised over 130,000, so they're doing quite well for themselves. So 13 days to go. Now, what makes this a good deal? Well, first of all, it's just a decent pledge. A lot of that's because of conversion and stuff like that. So right, it's in yen, but for the US dollar ruse, that is $63 for kind of a full game plus stretch goals and all that kind of stuff. And um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff in this game, it has a lot of thick cardboard and whatnot that you're doing, a lot of a lot of tokens and stuff like that. And uh, it's just kind of like a um, an area control slash Civ style kind of game. So very interesting game anyway. The art's beautiful. It's a very professional looking product, right? For a decent amount, 63 bucks is great for a new game. It kind of reminds me of like, um, the, the the days of yore on Kickstarter, right? When things were in a, like a bajillion dollars. Even if you get the all in, it's 89, right? So like with an all in a 90, you don't hear that very often. And they get a lot of that by bypassing uh, miniatures. So there are no miniatures. However, I would like to direct you to the shipping here because my Lord, it looks good. If you live in Japan, this is a great deal. Zero dollar shipping. They will just, it's included in the price. They're local. They're making it there. Boom, you got it. You're good to go. That is awesome. But even still, as long as you're not Canadian, you have a great deal. <laughs> if you're in Canada, my apologies. Um, you're like our, our cool, like, brother. So, like, I, I, I dig it. I'm, I'm all for you guys. But, man, 
31 bucks to ship that. That's rough on a $68 pledge. That is rough, or $63 pledge. But everything else, 16, 13, 11, 10, 13, everything else looks great. Um, I haven't looked at this list yet. So if you're rest of world or Asia, you know, I, I guess we'll, we'll, um, we'll look at it real quick, but, um, we're, we're trying to go quick. Um, let's see. There's a few that are like kind of stand out here, but for the most part, I'm still seeing in the, in the teens. Uh, the, you know, there's, there's a few higher ones there as well, but honestly, the, even that looks lower than what I normally see for you guys. So yeah, um, a decent price and decent in shipping. And again, I think a lot of it's probably conversion, um, but perhaps not. So, you know, it's, I mean, look over here. It looks like a thousand yen is about seven bucks. So there you go. That's the current conversion. Get it while it's hot. Okay. Next up. Number three, Dune War for Arrakis. Now, the shipping on here is bad unless you go all in. But if you go all in, it's actually uh, one of their best deals they've they've had in a while. Uh, I, I guess I should explain that. Um, the shipping is high. So we're actually going to start at the shipping uh, and get that kind of out of the way real quick here. So um, the harvester is is atrocious. Don't. This is not a good deal. Okay, this is that does not belong in this video. But the carryall is honestly fairly decent because your the carry all by the way is a hundred and sixty dollar pledge and they're saying it'd be about sixty two dollars to the US which is not even close to half so that's nice right I mean it, it's like below half it's like almost a third so it, it's honestly not that bad for an all in shipping um I, I paid that much back in the day for my bloodborne all in and that one was like two hundred something so it's not like previous and it, it, it probably never will be you know kickstarter isn't like that anymore shipping isn't like that anymore but the cost of it the fact that you get almost everything you don't get the neoprene mat but you get two big expansions all the stretch goals plus the core game for 160 dollars and they're actually going to be including all the stretch goals and the core box into one uh, box so it's easier to set up easier to to store and deliver and you get a special box that retail doesn't have so that's super cool too so if you buy the carry-all actually pretty good deal when it comes to the shipping and the price of the game itself plus the game looks pretty good so you know there's that too uh yeah so not too bad there Okay, number four is Project Ironside. It even says it in there, a $399 extendable board game table. That's huge. And the extendable is important because, because this is uh, a company that's been a around a while. Uh, they've been doing a lot of different stuff. And so what that means is even if you, you need, let's say two, because what you can do is you can essentially combine two and make it larger right? Which is super cool. It's just a little connection uh, bit there. And it's way cheaper than a normal wooden one. This is metal and all that. And you know, it has some like factory stuff there. But honestly, the price is very, very hard to beat. But because it's expandable, you can just get the small one and then get another one later. So you can, you don't have to get it all at once. You can literally get in at $400 and then I added again $400 or whatever it is after the the campaign plus the connector bit and then you have your full table so you, you can kind of piecemeal it out it's almost like going on layaway or something like that but you get like half of it there so honestly between those two things that is huge and honestly it, while shipping is going to be a lot it's again way way less than if you were getting all these like big wooden you know pieces that weigh a, a freaking ton it's like half half of an oak tree that you're getting sent so uh yeah a great deal for the product for sure and that is exactly why it's at 3.6 million is because literally they have already sold like 4,000 of these and i'm sure there's still more to go so 20 days to go and again all this is linked down below but the number one deal, the number one deal that I've I've found, I was looking at all the stuff I've covered. I was looking at the games I tend to cover and, you know, all the prices from shipping to what's included to the different uh, tiers and stuff like that. This one is a clear, clear winner, though. Idols of Torment by Black Magic Craft. Great deal. At 100,000, 888 backers. That's a fun, like, 100,777. You can't get more perfect than that. That is amazing, actually. I didn't play that. That's, that's awesome. Um, guys, you can get this game for fifth, for $12. I forget. He's Canadian. My goodness. 12 bucks. 12 bucks. That is, again, really, really good. And that's because this game is actually miniature agnostic. So if you want to play with whatever, you can totally do that. You get the rule books for 12 bucks. 
you're good to go. It's a it's a digital thing. And they keep doing that. All of these are just great deals. $45 to get the getting started thing. You get the rule book and PDF, but then you get all the game pieces you want. So you don't have to worry about all that. You got the plastic sprues. So these are like nice hips plastic sprues made by Archon Studio and all the uh, tokens with the initiative uh, bag in there. So uh, you get like really, really good offering there. You just play with whatever terrain you want to do or board you want to do, you're good to go. But again, you can keep doing more than that. So for instance, you could get the hardcover rule book if that's all you want is that. Um, let's, I just want to play the game, but I want this really nice hardcover. Well, you can get that for 60 bucks. That's probably the worst deal in my opinion, but you know, it's whatever. But this one right here, complete game package. So this is like everything you need. Okay. There's a, a another tier after that, the Kickstarter special. You don't need that. That includes like 3D printing and non like it, it's it's kind of a weird thing. But game complete gameplay package for hundred and four dollars, and you get the rule book and PDF, the hardcover version of it, the plat the hips sprues, um, and the echo deck, which is a, a, a deck to kind of modify some stuff there. So you again, you get it all for a hundred bucks, but. The fact that you can get into this game for 15 bucks is incredible. And again, they have the STLs too. Let me see how much that is. I actually didn't check that out, but you can 3D print the minis as well. I mean, they have soundtracks and all sorts of other stuff. Right? I mean, they, they got they got like a ton of stuff here, but you don't need to get all of that. You can if you want, of course. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, getting starter package, $59, and you get all of this. See all the tokens that you need, all the miniatures, the rule book on PDF for the bag. You get all that. Um, $45 USD. I mean, again, that's awesome. That's really, really good. So the STLs add-ons right here. Game piece STL is, again, just another 12 bucks. Or if you pay $38, you get all of that plus all of the minis. So... Again, $38 plus $12, you have the rules and you have all of the components and minis you need. You just make up a board, you're good to go. That's a great deal. That's really, really good. Um, like, like really, really good. Uh, amazing. Look at this, all 72 idle models uh, STL. So you get like literally everything here, not just the souls that are moving around. 50 bucks for all of these. There's only uh, two of each copy, so a lot of unique ones there. And again, you don't even have to do that. You can just kind of get what you need and, and go. So yeah, a really cheap entry point for a skirmish game. Skirmish games are normally on the high end and not the low end. So very happy about that. So that is the five that I've seen that I think are great deals right now for you. Is there something I missed? Is there something you would like to add to there? Maybe there's a good uh, honorable mention on number six. Maybe you'd reorder it different, or maybe you have something I haven't even looked at yet. You're like, okay, wait, you gotta look at this. Share it with everybody here, not just me. Let's uh, make a great list. Uh, I'll add them to the description as you guys bring them up if they're uh, a really good deal. So I'd love to hear from you. But with that, that's it. That's all I have. Have a great rest of your Friday. If you watch this the day I launched it. If you didn't and you missed out on one of these campaigns, maybe you should subscribe. If you appreciate the video, again, there is that like button, if nothing else. Check out all those links. Have a great day. Take care. Bye, guys.